I'm going to show you how to create this slideshow using Movavi. Let's go. Okay, so to begin, let's bring in our images and drop them right down here in the timeline. With all of our images highlighted, let's go over and select the Clip Properties icon. This is where we can go to adjust the duration of the images in our sequence. Whatever time we input here will be applied evenly to each highlighted clip in the timeline. For this example, I'm gonna go with three and a half seconds, but choose what's right for your project. Okay, so to create the blurred background for our slideshow, we'll need two layers, a background layer and a foreground layer. So while we have all of these images highlighted, let's make a copy of them. Now I'm just going to paste them right here and we'll come back to those in a minute. Now starting with our first set of images, we can begin creating our background layer. So first, let's add a slight movement. We can do this by going to pan and zoom, grabbing the zoom in option and dropping that right on our first image like this. Then we'll want to come over to the preview window and enlarge this frame a bit. For a nice gradual movement, let's set this frame close to the original size, just slightly smaller and make sure it's centered up nicely. Once that's set, let's go down to the timeline and spread out our keyframes, moving them to the very beginning and end of the clip like this. This will keep our zoom movement smooth and continuous throughout the duration of the clip. Let's go over this process one more time. So again, we'll drop a zoom in on our clip, go over to the preview window and increase the frame size just slightly smaller than the original, use the guides to center it up, and then drop back down to the timeline and fully stretch out our keyframes along the clip. We can continue to repeat the same process for the rest of our background images. Okay, now it's time to add a blur to our background images. So we'll start by highlighting the image, then we can go up to the filters icon and select blur. From here, let's right click on the intense blur option and then left click where it says apply to selected clips. Okay, that wraps it up for our background layer. Now I'm just gonna play it through so we can see how it looks so far. Already looking good. Okay, so now let's grab those images that we copied earlier and stack them right on top of our background images like this. Now once we've done this, Movavi automatically brings us right to the picture-in-picture -picture overlay, and with all of the images still highlighted in the timeline, we can resize them all at once. So pick a size you like. I think that looks pretty good right there. Next, while these clips are still highlighted, let's go up to the filters icon and choose a vignette option to give our images a little border. Okay, now for the last step. Let's tie it all together by adding some tasteful transitions. So with our overlay clips still highlighted, let's click on the Transitions tab and select Zoom. Then go down to the Zoom In and Out option, right click, and choose Add After Selected Clips. Next, let's highlight the lower background images, and this time we'll select Fade, and apply the Crossfade option. Now with the transitions added, let's play it through and see how it looks. That looks much better. Now if we want to change it up a little bit, let me show you another transition I really like. To find it, let's select Warp and choose any of the twist options. Here's what that will look like. There are many great ones to choose from, so be sure to explore them and choose what looks best for your slideshow. With our transitions applied, if we want to adjust the duration, we can do that by right-clicking on any of the transitions, selecting Transition Properties, and then make adjustments right up here. If we want this duration to apply to all of the transitions on the timeline, we can check this box right here. Now by adding some music that flows nicely with your images, you'll have a fantastic looking slideshow. Thanks for watching.